Hey guys, Night M200. If you saw my other video of our AA hard mode one tank, today I'm coming to you with a normal AA, and we, today we'll be talking about tanking axes. Um, some people have struggling doing this coming in, especially newer tanks or people getting into the content because um, you have to block the whole time. Um, so obviously, block cost is a, is important, but some people just don't have the grasp on that just yet. So I'm gonna go over the four different strats that I've seen with this and kind of explain why some are not as good as others and some are more optimum than others. Um, so to start off, first one is uh, aggroing the boss. If you're in the fire of the boss, the axes will stay on you the whole time. The problem with this is you have to move around a lot to aggro the boss and you, you also have to use that same taunt to aggro the, the uh, axes to make sure it comes to you for safety. Um, but I mean, if you aggro the boss, the, aggro, the boss doesn't stay aggro to you. She hits anybody randomly, so it's kind of a waste of a time. Second strat is um, a lot of people getting into this thing. They have to tank every single axe because they're afraid that the axe is going to go away and kill people. Um, you don't have to do this. Um, and the third way, um, all you have to do is taunt one time. If you taunt that one axe, all the axes will stay on you. It's kind of like a group thing, you know. You mess with one person, then all you gotta mess with the whole family, like Samoan. <laughs> so, um, which is what I use mixed with the fourth wave. Wave number four is damage. So I confirm right now that a 10 second loop of damage, um, so damage every 10 seconds, will keep the axes on you. Um, the set that I'm using right now to demonstrate this strat is the Brazilian Dorkita. Every time I uh, get hit. Every 10 seconds when I'm hit while I'm blocking, I do AOE damage and it heals me. Um, so you can see, boom, it procs. Like I said, I don't do anything. I literally sit here with my block up, the healer heals me. I use Dragon Blood if my health gets low a little bit. I still have my um, ultimate, whichever ultimate you can run. It's a, you can run Magma Armor. I like to run um, the Sword and Shield because uh, I get free taunts. So because I have the Master Weapons, that's free heals. So for 7 seconds, I can just heal, 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 heal. Uh, now there's other ways to do the damage. Um, for the DK, um, really mostly I know it is uh, you got Volta Armor, which is your ward. It does like spikes. That works. You have uh, Ash Cloud, which is an AOE circle that's placed on the ground. Um, that works pretty good. And you also have Inhale. Inhale does damage and it heals you and then it does a burst damage after. Um, so, even the three of the ways, all three, however you want to mix it up, uh, the best way to try this out is to go into normal, take like three axes, and just try out rotating through your arm um, and see what works best as far as keeping your uh, resources up and everything. Uh, <clears throat> So like I said, as you can see, very simple. I stand in there like a rock, like don't have to do anything. You know, so the healer healing me. Now if I want to get to where I didn't need the healer, I said I can use my English shield to keep my stamina up, taunt to get the heal. Um Dragon Ball obviously in case it gets too low. I use my ultimate, then I get free heals and free taunts. So there's multiple ways to go about this. Um, for wardens, it's probably really good. Uh, tank to do two on because you just bow next to keep your stamina up. You got icy wings, leechy vines. You get the AOE circle. You have your AOE ultimate. There's a lot of things you can put on to keep your life to it. So that's kind of my take on axes and different ways that you can get into it. And, and I think the damage is probably a really easy way if you can get the resilience your Kita set. Cause it does the work for you. You don't have to spam any abilities or rotate or even count. You just keep your block up. It procs every 10 seconds. Well, how much easier can it get to that? So, um, and the Virginia Kita drops in uh, AA, Athena, Athena Archive. So you can farm it on normal. All you need is a five piece body. It's pretty easy to get. And um, yeah, so um, that's my video for today. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching. Attention will turn elsewhere. We should depart. 